Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day what, 19? It is. And I've been making concrete last night. I made a new shotgun as you can see. Um, level 51. Uh, I was able to get into that, the retracting stock mod, which is going to give it a little bit more stability, which is kind of nice. Up the damage a tiny bit. And then we've got our... Uh, steel spear still running the same mods, but we have a level 41 now rather than a 31 iron spear, which is great uh, So those are two huge improvements over um, The day before now I made a couple of molotovs like eight molotovs. I think Got some zombies outside. Oh, I made some ink or die last night too and a 61 sledge So we're gonna bring that down today So yeah, I made a couple of black die last night because we had enough for it. But what are we doing here for? 39 pages so we need more pages all right, not bad. Um, what do we need to do today? So first things first, let's go down and murder the zombies like we always do. But we w we got to upgrade um, the base a little bit. Um, I can't get down that way. Let's go this way. Let's go the let's go the way we always go. Uh, this way. Hey, buddy. You hanging out here last night? I know. I did manage to kill a couple of them last night with some arrows. To keep them quiet down here, but look at you. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. And I made a bunch of gas last night. Uh, we had like 300 and something oil shale. I guess that had been picking up. So I was able to make like 3,000 gas last night in the chem station. Alright, so the goal today will be to get this updated. I gotta fix the front. See you later. Okay. Do this. Get this updated. Now, I think what we do is we do like that. That's concrete there. I like to always have the blocks underneath where I'm standing to be as solid as possible. Just in case the zombies decide that, hey, it's a good idea to try and uh, break in that way. Sorry, map's just loading. <coughs> we'll get there this morning. So let's get rid of you. Hey, Kenny. Not worried about in here. I'm really hoping the zombies do a number in this place. Actually, what we should do, though... Hmm... I really need to, um... Break out... What is this? What? I hear ya. I hear ya. Let's go. Locals out for their morning stroll, it would seem. Oh, and a watering horde. Might as well start off the day with a bang, huh? Gotta kill you before you explode. Exploding dogs are not nice. Come on. Yeah, the spear rules, man. Now, I did make... I dropped the, our last skill point into armor um, making. Or armor crafting, I guess it would be called. Oh, juicy. And you're done. Anyway, um, so I made level 11 um, boots and... Oop, almost got a piece of me. Boots and chest piece and thighs and arms. Helmet we have is already 19, so it's not a big deal. You're still going. Oh, hey. Did you go all the way around the building? He was like, I'll go all the way around the building and, and maybe by the time I get there, the battle will be over and I don't have to do any fighting. Moe's always got good drops, man. I love that guy's drops. Hey, buddy. You're a remnant from last night, I think. Well, at least we can see all the... Uh... Whoa! Shit, that guy came up on me fast. Those cowboys are a little quicker than most normal zombies. You're done. Come on, y'all. How are we doing? Got this guy coming in eventually. Oh, we got another runner. Hey. Ha. <laughs> This steel spear, what a difference. 
<laughs> wow, what a difference. We got somebody behind the wall here, it looks like. Oh, hey, you. Pokey. Oh, some concrete. Appreciate it. Now, I did make it like 500 sand last night, and then I turned that into concrete. So we have a bit of concrete. Can I do some work now, please? I don't hear anybody walking. Doesn't mean there ain't zombies around, though. All right, let's get up here. Now, um, I'm going to take this turret out of here. And put the 61 in there. Where are you? Here you are. Hey, yeah. Because I think it's got a little faster fire rate. Which is good. And then we'll use the backup turret here. I should have put, brought some repair kits, but it's fine. Now, uh, let's get this zombie killed. Well, that turret can see them from over there, eh? Well, well, well. All right, now I got a couple steel hatches um, on the craft as well. We're gonna break out these blocks. Oh, for crying out loud. You're gonna make me go down there and get you, aren't you? He probably bled out before I hit him with the arrow. Come on, you. Oh, that's actually... That's doing some work. Holy crap. Hmm. It's an interesting development. Problem is, I don't have a lot of iron, so, like... It would be nice to have that turret up there shooting all the time. But without the iron to constantly be, re like, replenishing the turret, it's going to become an issue. Alright, let me knock these blocks out and get this... Um, forward part of this base set up here. Well, some of the early morning zombies are still rolling in. I don't think I need to do much. Either this junk turret will shoot them or the... I'm not even going to look. We'll see. Those two sledges should handle the job. All right, that just about does it. Now, the level that we gained this morning, I put right into Miner 69, or just so I could get this stuff done a little quicker. Man, it took a while. Okay, so now, where I erred last time is these blocks here. We need to go like so. Like that. And then, let's repair this. Now, these guys can all be concrete. Because this is what gets hit the hardest by cops and whatever, right? Now, that's, that junk turret's not going to be able to see the stairs anymore, but that's fine. Then we can uh, copy shape, copy rotation, put you in there. Like that. I hear more zombies. Yeah, these sledge turrets took care of the zombies that were behind me. I didn't even turn around. All right, so now we can go on face. Uh, where are you here? On face. So, the idea of putting the plates out front here is just a little out of protection. I'm not going to upgrade them, but what it does is it kind of protects a little bit the concrete that's behind it. Um, that way it's not the concrete that's taking damage, it's mostly these. Because I can get cobble pretty easy, but concrete's a little harder currently, so... Uh, let's make some cobblestone shapes. Let's make that a 20. Yeah, so I can currently get um, cobblestone relatively easy, but concrete's harder. So, like I said, you always put the weakest material on the outside for protection first, um, rather than your strongest. Um, it just saves you resources over time. Unless you're, like, like seriously worried about dying, and then you may want to reconsider that. But for this case, I don't have to worry about dying too much. So, put you in there. A little extra protection. And then we want to go back to this, because what we're going to do, I think, is I'm going to knock out... You're out of ammo already. Yeah, see, that's the water's afraid of. I'm going to knock these out and lay in a flat floor here. All right, that's a bit of that knocked out. I'm not really worried right now about this. Now, we got what was in there, right? Did we get what was in here? We did. All right, let's actually... Ah, shit, I'm going to have to get repair kits. There we go. 
Yeah, you're not getting to me. Um, yeah, I gotta get repair kits. Uh, we can just repair this straight up. That we'll get a little bit more money for. We can turn that into a Molotov when I get some oil. Might as well drink one of these. Um, these are pretty nice. Not gonna use them right now, but we'll have them. Uh, I don't have my ammo on me, so we'll take the junk turret back. And I think really, you know what? Let's just put a... Um, we can work on this. You know, theoretically, we could work on the base during the horde. Yeah, see now, before we had problems with uh, spider zombies jumping across and landing on here and getting in. Which I never had before, but now with that there, um, they're going to be... Oh, it is the horde night tonight. Okay. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to stick around here and raid some of these houses. Um, and get our crops going over there. Ooh, headshot! Um, so yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they were breaking in this way. But I don't think they'll be able to do that now. I don't think they're going to be able to reach that uh, position. Let's just fix that. Anything else here? A little bit of concrete damage, I think, was mostly from... Ooh, excuse me. Mostly from me fighting. And hitting stuff. That is the wrong way now. So let me get two more hatches here. And two more of these guys. And we'll get this fixed. Story of my life. The last thing I don't have enough. The very last hit and that thing is broken. I mean, I can do it with this, but still. It's like... <laughs> if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. Alright, let's do, uh... That. And that. And then we can just upgrade these guys. Okay, so now we flip these two up during the horde. And we're good to go. Uh, let's repair this a little bit. Because if this breaks... I mean, it's not too bad if it breaks. If it breaks, it breaks. Uh, I wanted to update that one. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, they bang a little bit, but not a lot, right? Because the wider the access for them to get up to you, the less likely they are to bang on stuff. Because they don't... Like, they go into a uh, break, like break block mode if they're like can't find a path, right? And that can happen due to a variety of reasons. One is that it's just, there's no real path to you. But two, it's like the zombies that are on the path to you are blocking them. So then they're like, okay, well, I can't get to them. So I'm just going to start hitting shit, right? So the wider the path initially, like this, I mean, this is not bad, right? But the wider the path initially, like this, the easier it is for them to get up. And if they fall off up here and go into break block mode or get hit by this, then I can throw Molotovs on them and take care of them or at least see them down here and shoot them. You know? I'm worried about them secondary. That makes sense. Uh, okay, let's go back inside. We want to get our feed. What else do we need? Feed. Uh, we need a repair kit. Ooh, that's not bad. Do we have a pipe on us? We don't. All right. Feed, repair kit. Um, so we'll come down and do this stuff. And then I think, like I said, we're going to hit some of the buildings around us today. Make it an easy day. I was thinking about going to do the quest for Razor, but... Uh, it's on the other side of town. It's the problem with being the, with the hordes being this short, right? Uh, let's repair you. Okay, we don't need you on us. I gotta make... I gotta get iron, too. Um, at least we got some shotgun ammo today. All right, let's put, um, you away. Put you in there. You guys, sellables are up here. Those in there. Now, where is my, yeah, I got like almost no junk turret ammo. Oh, robotic turret ammo. Let's just make another, that's like all our iron. Let's just make 30 for now. I don't know how much we can fit in there. Okay, so that... Nothing going on in there. There's our steel hatches, which I'm not going to use right away. Let's just put them in here. Um, that's the rest of our concrete. Let's put that in here as well. Um, Got to be frugal here. Now, we had a bit of steel going, which we got now. Put that in here. Let's reload this turret. 
I might take it with me today. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, you know what? Uh, we got to worry about ammo, so let's not take it with me. Let's just leave it here. Uh, repair kits. They're in here. Let's grab one. Is really all we need right now. Go ahead and get you repaired. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, the feed. Uh, down here. I got this, which we can turn into feed. All right, we got that. Let's just go ahead and use this up so it's out of our inventory. I think I'm keeping my bowls in here. Yeah, somebody made a question about bowls. Would it be a good idea to make a bunch of bowls at the beginning of the game? I mean, you can. I I, once, I just answered that it's for me, it's like a waste of resources. Um, like, I would prefer having the clay, which is like not a lot, but still, uh, I would prefer having that as opposed to... Um, let's go with all of it. Um, than having the bowls, because I don't... Like, I'm generally eating... Like, I mean, you could make a whole bunch of food and let it sit, and if you had a whole bunch of bowls, that's fine. Um, you can use bowls to collect sap from trees and stuff. So yeah, there is use for them, but I just generally myself don't really find too, too much of a use for them. Um, other than, you know, if like if you're not starting off with a farmer class, then you may want it. There's lots of ammo in that, so we're fine. Um, you know, so you may want to, you know, have it. But um, like I said, it's not a make or break thing for me. You know, I, I used to make a bunch of bowls and then like, you know, make batch make food, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. It is. You know, if you're, if you have a good sense. Well, they've already broken one of my uh, chicken coops out here. If you had, a, if you have a good sense of the game, you know, you don't really got to have to worry about it too much. Can we make a. I need. Uh, let's grab some fiber here in a second. How long does it take to make a coop? Uh, and I think it's only a little bit of fiber. I know we need eggs. Um. What are we missing? Plant, oh, it's 15 plant fibers. Oh, all right. All right, let's get one of these going again. So yeah, like I said, it's completely up to you. Like I knew these things out here were gonna get wrecked too. Like they're not really in an ideal position. All right, let's get our feed back down. But if you get a good recipe and you can make, like, good food, um, you know, having a whole bunch of bowls is not really a make or break. Now, if you could melt them back into, um, if you could melt them back into the forge to get the resources back, then I would probably make a bunch. But since you can't really, then there's no real point. I mean, that's just me. I mean, people are going to see it differently, right? So, actually, let's go ahead and take this apart. And then we're going to go in here next door. This just means there's less of a chance of uh, the zombie blowing it up. I should check that first. Now we are getting low on cloth, so I should probably grab as much cloth as I can find as well. Alright, let's grab you. Grab that. That is metal, I believe. Nope, it's plastic. We should do an episode where we hold down this as a, for a horde night. That'd be fun. Maybe. Maybe for about 30 seconds. Uh, okay, let's go in this guy's place. I know there's a gun bag in here. Oh wait, is this the one I'm thinking of? No, it's the one next door to this one I'm thinking of. Which one is this? Grab that stuff. What do you got in the mailbox? Oh, this is the, uh, right. This is the dog house. Sometimes there's a dog in here. In the back corner. Or he could be over there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that was a miss. Ow! You got a piece of me. You got a piece of me. That's all you get is a small piece. That's all you get. That's all you're gonna get. I'm right, gonna leave those because we can wrench those later on for military fiber. All right, gonna just grab the plastic. Weird. Got a zombie coming up here. Where are you? Oh, it's a red leftover from last night. Ah! 
Ooh, mechanical parts. Mechanical parts. Let's grab what's in here. A little bit of shotgun ammo. So not this place, but the one behind me has actually got the uh, gun bag in it. I don't know if there's a gun bag in this place. I, I can't for the life of me remember too much what's in this place. Grab this. I want to try and grab as many resources as I can as I'm going now because... Well, that's not bad. Like I said, with the uh, the hordes and stuff, it's... Um, Gonna be, I'm gonna be have very limited time going places. Although, that being said, a little later on, I want to kind of like, once we have better weapons and stuff, we can go other places and hoard, hold down hordes. Hello. Oh, you're awake. Is it just you? Is it just you? Not gonna answer my question. Right, that's the water heater. Nobody in here. Alright, cool. Resources, what's in here? Some stuff we can scrap. That's a good find. And some water jars. Actually, let's go ahead and close this. While we loot the resources from here. Uh, I just kind of realized something. Is there no... Oh, yes, there is. I was going to say, is there no bathroom in this place? Uh, let's, um... Leave that there. I'm good on that stuff. <laughs> I got enough of my own, thanks. Alright, we'll grab that. Kind of. People say I'm full of it. Alright, um... Let's grab this stuff. Grab the wood. And scrap. Somebody's coming up outside. Grab this. Not a lot in here. But there are some resources here we can grab. Ooh, microwave. Yeah, thanks for that. I know we can turn that into, um, what's it called? Uh, antibiotics eventually, but you need to be a scientist for that, and I don't have that yet. Come on, buddy, I'm inside. Um... Electrical parts and the lights. Let's take that apart. Let's grab this light. So we are level 40, and I was—I misspoke. I thought we needed to be level um, 50 for the coil stuff, but it's not 50. It's um, oh, I want this too. It's um, level 60. Get started on coil stuff, but at least if we have the electrical parts and the plastic. Then when we're ready to make coil stuff, we're good to go. All that, and you just went down on the first shot? Really? Alright, this is the place over here I was thinking that's got the, uh... This place here has got the gun bag in it. Let's break this apart. Alright, what do we got outside here? Some plastic. Take all that stuff. We'll leave that. That's iron, I know. I think we took everything in here, right? Didn't break that out, though. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's wake up people inside. There's usually a snake in here, and then... Ah, oh, there you go. I had to open my mouth first to say there's, like, a snake. Oh, hey! Better for you? Yeah, usually, like, there's, like, a snake right here. Oh, buddy, come on, open the door. I ain't got all day. We got shit to do. Oh, grunt shot. That had to hurt. That had to have hurt. I almost, I, I tasted that one. All right, let's break this apart. A little bit of springs. Need that for making... We'll take that. We need springs for making a lot of mods. Uh, nice. I'm actually finding a half decent amount of pages today, which is cool. Break you apart, you apart, take that, break that. We need paper for shotgun rounds later, so I'm just taking it while I can. Uh, let's scrap you, and we grabbed that chair. Where's the chair? Oh, here they are, here. Scrap that. Ah, uh, sandwich, whatever. Grab the paper. 
I noticed they don't have paper in the toilet in uh, Darkness Falls. I thought that toilet paper was a great joke. People are like, why is there paper in the toilet? It's like, it's toilet paper. <laughs> what do you, why do you think it's there? Uh, is there light in here? No lights. Wait, was there... Nope, it's just glass. Okay, let's take the kitchen apart. We'll grab the weapons bag last. Alright, we'll drop this stuff off at home when we're done here. And then... Ooh, that's not bad. Grab... Oh, there's two of the acid we were looking for, but we don't really need it now. Because we bought the chem station. Um, we'll do this one, and then we'll probably have another look around. I'm going to see if there's a house close by with a lot of resources. Um, okay, that's a scrap. That's a scrap. More shotgun parts. Auto rifle barrel. Okay, not too bad. We can just scrap that and we'll take the rest. Finish breaking this up. Yeah, like I'll see if there's a house nearby with like lots of resources that we can just do a quick raid on. Okay, let's drop this stuff at home. Alright, that gets that all done. Um... Let's grab something to eat before we go. Uh, meat stew use. Actually, let's go ahead and make some meat stew here before I forget. Ten. Uh, some meat. Uh, what else do we have here? I need the... I don't need that. And corn. So we should be able to make... There's our oven. Oh, we need a battery. Uh, we should have one here. Okay, now we should be able to make... How many can we make? Ten? Perfect. Using half our resources, which isn't too bad. That's the that's food enough for the next, like, seven days or so, probably. Okay, um... What were we doing? We were doing something. Raiding. Uh, let's go down here. Gas you up. Now, that house over there. That's where we want to go. So this burnt house over here... I know in the attic it's got a lot of cobblestone. Or do I want to go and... Wait, where's the... Um, where's that resource house? Didn't we mark it on the map? Or is it not close by here? Oh, it's one down here. Where's the other one? Did we clean the other one out already? Maybe we did. All right, well, this house it is. Oh, this isn't... Uh, yeah, this is one of the places I was thinking of. Not the one I was actually thinking of, but it's a good house as well. Bunch of resources in here. So we're going to go ahead and break into this place. Now that we know the Wandering Horde's gone by today, I shouldn't have to worry about that. We should get more Wandering Zombies, but... Because we just moved away from our place. Okay, we can use that to repair ours. Excellent. I hear you. Oh, footballer. You're gone. Deal with you. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Alright, let's open this guy up. I could have come around the back, huh? Grab that. Grab this. Love the fact that they added these doors. It's so awesome. Alright. Shouldn't be able to stealth too much, but we might be able to get one or two kills in here. Oh, you were up above. Had you been down below, you may have had a chance. Just not today. Oh, shit. That thing disappeared. Alright, well, let's grab the stone. I want to try and grab all the resources here. I'm going to try and mix, I think, resource gathering with, with looting. So we'll try and hit up the houses that um, I know have resources in them. So we can loot and grab resources at the same time. Probably a good idea. Um, yeah, let's just clear the guys out of here. Wow. Ooh. Cheeky bastard. Got somebody outside. I thought there might have been somebody in here, but not quite. Alright, let's pop this open. Something good, please. 
Oh, steel pickaxe. That's not bad. We're, I think we're pretty much at a point now where I can switch over to steel. Um, problem with steel is, like, I mean, it, yeah, it does a lot of damage, but it also um, costs a lot of stamina. So while it might be okay earlier um, to use it, if you don't have a lot of stamina, it's like, it's hard to sustain the usage. So if you're grabbing stuff quickly, it might be okay, but if you want to grab a lot of stuff, it's not as good. At least that's the way I feel. I like sustainability. Alright, let's break this out. Some cloth. Oops, some stuff to sell. Paper and plastic, more cloth. Okay, now the guys in the kitchen should be dead. Yeah, he dropped down from above, so that guy's gone. Break that out. Grab this. Nothing in there. Okay, sinks. Okay. Scrap that. I'm gonna scrap that one. We have one an extra one at home, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just I wanna keep the extra one too, just in case we uh end up having to go somewhere and stay for a few days. I wanna take them with me just so that I've got them on me. I don't have to like make them when I get there. Okay, that's not a bad grab. A bit of coal. Let's grab the springs from here. Are you finally in or are you? Apparently not. One shot. The spear is nasty. Ooh, looting goggles. I should probably just put those on right now. For while we're in here. And then switch, hopefully I remember to switch back over to the agility. I generally don't carry more than one pair of glasses with me. Um, just because of the nature of who I am, I'm going to constantly be forgetting to switch back and forth between the two. So for me, it's just, I'm just better off using the one that I know I'm going to be using the most. Which for me is the agility goggles to try and stay alive. Um, the other ones, not so much. They're like, the looting goggles are okay, but are they make or break? Like, are they going to really oops, make that big of a deal? And my answer is always no, it's not going to give you enough of a, like, a plus five boost in your level. Might put you over and you might find something half decent, but in Darkness Falls, you generally find pretty good stuff no matter what your loot stage. Like, I found, I found, like, steel stuff early in the game before, and, you know, it's not so bad. But it's, you know, if you're min-maxing, for sure, absolutely go for it, right? But I, I honestly, for me, it's just I don't really care that much. I love the fact that this game kind of gives you the ability to be like, to play it how you want to. That's the thing I, one of the things I really, really love about it. I should be like, prepare you. Let's get you out of, uh, no, I'll just leave you there. All right, well, we know there's a guy here. Whoa. We gotta hit her first if we're gonna actually do anything, for crying out loud. Doesn't matter how fast you attack or how good your skill, if you can't actually hit them, it's just a waste of your freaking time. Oh, we got a fractured arm too now. Ah, for Christ's sake. Alright, well. Alright, we gotta go home and get that fixed then. I can't loot anymore after this. It's hoping to go to another house, but... Alright, some medical supplies. Well, that's not bad. Some pages and whatever. Alright, let's, um... Let's keep you out just in case. Now, we're parked, what, over there? Yeah, what's the best way to get there? Can we get out this way? Oh yeah, probably. Where are you? not mess around. Alright, let's get back home. Okay, we're gonna park the bike here. Now let's put the gas into the bike. Should have lots left, right? Yeah. Put you in the bike. Bring you down a bit. Alright, let's get this stuff inside.
Don't know if this is a broken arm or just fractured. We'll take a look in a second here. I think it's probably broken. Just kind of sucky, but whatever. Now we should have, we do have one. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. Uh, what? We can make the plaster cast. Can we not? We can. What do we need? Two sand, cornmeal, cloth fragments, and murky water, which we have everything here. So let's go ahead and do that so we don't forget. Drop all those in there. Let me just put this stuff away first. Alright, we got one sand. I can make another. Actually, let's make a whole three more sand. Let's see if we can make two of these bandages here. Or two of these. Just so we've got them. Wait, what else do we need again? Uh, cornmeal, which means we need eight corn. Actually, I think we can make... I think we can double our cornmeal in here, if I'm not mistaken. So if I craft... Yeah, we get four. So let's do two more. Come back and get that in a second. Let's put this away. And then what else did I say we needed? Cornmeal. Um, plaster cast. We got the sand, we got the cloth. Murky water. Which we should have a lot of. Yeah, we do. Actually, let's grab half of this and get that in here. Ah, man, I love this thing. It's worth getting this early just because you can make... Oops, let's not make all of it. Um, let's make 60. Because we need two. It's worth it because you don't need fuel. This thing goes. It's got a bigger like inventory here. You can just let shiz go, right? And it'll just go for a long time. All right. Let's make two plaster casts. I wish you had a... Uh, way we can make a chem station the same way, but oh, we need, that's 45 seconds, eh? Let's now put the dukes in there. Let's put that in there. Turn it back on, get two of them going. Alright, food away. So, horde's coming shortly. I don't think we're going to do too much more before the horde. I'm going to grab my stuff, um, get everything turned on, and get ready for the horde. I'm probably going to use the rifle tonight. We'll save the shotgun for cops. Do that. We didn't get a lot of iron today, did we? Not much. Um, let's just pull that out. I want to save some. We want to save some Molotovs. Uh, we're not going to need more than 40, so let's leave those in there. Uh, we got enough in the turret for the ammo. Grenades we're going to hold on to. I don't think there's much in here that we need. Uh, but let's grab one of these guys before the horde. How are we doing for first aid? We're okay. Uh, we want to grab one of these guys. We don't have any splints. What does it take to make a splint? The splindle, a splindly? Two cloth, wood, and plant fibers. That's actually pretty cheap. So let's grab uh, plant fibers. Oh, we've got plant f fibers here. Cloth here, and wood. Let's make two of these. Just in case we use one tonight, we'll have a backup. How are we doing here? Got one. We're going to need that for tonight. Um, there's our two splints. Keep one on us. Okay, let's make some more. Did we make junk turbine ammo in here? We didn't. We made it in here. Um, like another 100 rounds, maybe? That's 300. 150, maybe? It's nice to have that to watch our back. Just in case they do get in there again tonight. Um, okay, so let's put you... Up there, up here. First aid stuff. I can worry about infections in the morning. Uh, clearing infections. We got a half decent amount of pages today. Uh, let's pull some of these guys out of here. Because we don't need all these. But we can scrap them in here. Can always get more radiators. It's easy enough. Oh yeah, um... I don't think we're going to need repair kits. Are we going to want the AK for the cops? I don't know. Let's just take two just in case. Uh, that can go in the rifle. Um, the thunder, man. We got a little bit of time. We're alright. We alright. 
Um, let's grab one of these for tonight. Might as well use one of you guys right now. Uh, what else? What am I forgetting? Well, we can put away some stuff. Let's put it in here. Don't need the shovel. Don't need the axe. Um, the bow we'll leave in here as well. We don't need our dukes. We don't need those. We don't need that. Uh, we might need the iron for repair. Right? Uh, all this other stuff we need. We need the nail gun. We don't need that. We don't need that. We might need that for clearing the doorway. Let's bring the rifle down. Bring you down. Bring you down. Modify you. Put you in there. At least it'll help us rank our skill up a little bit with this. Uh, let's bring the AK as well. Where is it? In here. Where are you, Mr. AK? Here you are. Just in case. It's good. It's a good oh shit weapon. Bring you down. Switch these two around. Got enough ammo, I think. Alright, well, fingers crossed. Let's go down one level. Should be able to get into the horde base this way. All right. Now, they didn't break out a block last night. That was me. And that was a fail. Well, let's just go up to the horde base this way. Not like we can't. All right. Nothing should get past these turrets, I don't think, tonight. Let's put these up. Two of them up. Leave one down. And while we're waiting... Actually, let's throw the rest of the ammo on you. I'm going to put you, like, hmm, I think there. And while we're waiting, let's knock out a few of these blocks. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring anything to repair with. Well. hitting that. I probably have time to go back and get it, but I'm not going to. I don't want to risk it. Uh, yeah, the one thing I should probably remember, though, is... Mm, we gotta fill that in underneath there. So let's put the junk turret back down. Far back here as so we can get it. Like that. I gotta replace these guys. You in there, you in there. I mean, like I said, I don't think they're going to jump up there. It's just a just-in-case, you know? They've been doing things that I haven't been expecting, so... Alright, knock this guy out. Get on with the horde. Well, at least we got iron to repair the doors with. At least. Alright, let's bring these guys forward. Something like that, probably. Are we reloaded? Reloaded. Reloaded. Ready to go. Yeah, I mean, what could go wrong, right? We all right. We all right. Yeah, see, this is so much smoother now. We all right. Well, I don't feel like that was a very productive day, but I'm feeling that's, like, getting to be commonplace with the uh, horde that's pretty much coming every second day now. It's kind of annoying. I think we've had it come, like, like more times on, like, two days than we have on, like, you know, three or four. It always seems to be a couple. Day 19 and we're on, what, our seventh horde? Well, yeah, see? They don't think they're going to hit that anymore. I don't think they're going to be able to get in there. I'll let this horde run for a little bit just to see what happens. I'm just interested to see... We'll stand back so the cops can't see us, but... Uh, where are we at here before we start? 1856 kills, game stage 90. Level 42 on day 19, which is, you know, not bad. Okay, this guy's got to go, though.
Oh, the one thing we can do, and I, I should remember to do it, is for t on Tier 2, one of the Tier 2 mods that you can make is the uh, Shock mod. So what I might actually do is actually might make that for um, the Shotgun and maybe, maybe the Spear. I don't know yet. Spear usually fire fast enough. I don't really have to worry about that thing, stunning people. No, nope, still hitting ourselves. Still hitting ourselves, and I don't know why that is. I don't know. Let's try again here. Okay, well, we know not a, f a full charge is not necessarily needed. So the guys that are out there... Then we can't really hit with the... Uh, Molotovs, which kind of defeats the purpose of them a bit. We got to get rad removers for those uh, those turrets too, because not being able to remove radiation on these guys is going to be an issue. We'll just be punting them off and then doing nothing. You know what I mean? Okay, this first wave. Did you get up? No, you did not. Okay, let's see if we can toss one by the pillar. All right, two thirds, well, about half of a charge, not bad. Okay. Oh, you got to the door, eh? All that way for nothing. Oop. A little late. I was just going to say I have a bad ping. That's what it was. It has, not, it has nothing to do with how bad of a shot I am. Everything to do with my friggin' ping. Which should technically be zero, but... <laughs> I'm going to say it's a lot higher. So... I want to apologize to people. Um, I did post a um, an episode of how I felt Alpha 20 was easier. I think there's a bit of miscommunication going on in the community about easier versus harder. Um, and I didn't really realize it until somebody had uh, commented recently on that video. It's been a while since it's been out. But somebody commented on the video and said, you know, oh, being downtown on day one is way harder. Especially with Feral Sense on and, you know, being in the Wasteland is like, on day one is like, like super hard. And I'm like, why would you go to the Wasteland on day one? And what I didn't realize, uh, because I don't play multiplayer, is apparently on multiplayer, you can actually, on day one, be spawned into the Wasteland. I did not know that. So it's like, that makes perfect sense of why people would say it's harder, because the Wasteland by default is harder. Right? And because the Wasteland is by default is harder, if you spawn there, of course the game's going to be harder. It's going to be harder than it ever has been. Even with the zombies not on Feral Sense. You know, even with the zombies like normal. Um, it's going to be way harder because you're going to be facing cops and military zombies and all kinds of crazy shit, right? So, I, I totally get it, and I apologize to those people that may have misunderstood what I was saying. What I'm saying is, for single player, it's easier than it ever has been. Right? Even with Feral Sense turned on, like once you get used to the Feral Sense, and just know that you've got to clear your, your POIs on the outside before you go inside, once you realize that, then it's not that hard. Like, it really isn't. You just have to take the time to, you know, do an outside clear. Wait for the zombies to show up, and then go into your POI so you're unmolested. I constantly hear people saying, Oh, I'm going to go in this building, and they're going to be on me. I'm like, well, let them get on you first, and then go into the building. Why would you... I don't understand why you would... Oh, we got a chance to get a bunch. That was a bit better. Like, why would you go... In... Why would you go into the building knowing the zombies are going to show up? Like, I don't understand that. Like, uh, yeah, it makes it harder, makes it a little more fun, maybe, but, like, it's like saying, you know, 
I'll wait till I go in and let a lot of whole bunch of zombies spawn and then trap me inside and kill me and then that that's you know I don't I don't anyway that's just me but yeah you know I now I totally get it and I should probably clarify um, when I'm talking about that because like I said I don't I don't play multiplayer so I don't normally think about it right so that's something I would normally um, consider or think about um, come on bear uh, you can't even make it past them, eh? I gotta kill that dog. There we go. Oh shit, I thought that guy was inside. I heard the white sound and I'm like, he's in the base! He's not, he's inside here trying to break out is what he's doing. There we go. Ooh, nice. I should like... Oh. That guy was rubber. Did you see that? It looked like he was like Spider Manning the building. He was like Spider Manning the building. Dog's gotta go. I could probably leave this door down. Probably a little easier to hit those guys out there. I will suffer. Kill the dog before he blows up. That guy still got a lot of hit points. You know what? I forgot to turn my turret on. I should put a switch down here, though. That's what I should do. At least the bears don't regen. Damn it, missed. Couldn't flick my wrist fast enough. Oh, you. Come on, you birds. Missed them. Gotta get points on rifle, so that's why I'm doing this. Oh, damn it. Oh, one got in. That turret took care of him pretty quick, though. Holy crap. Well, at least only one got in tonight. I should probably reload this. Just in case. Alright, buddy. Now I can deal with you. Ooh, red bag. Ah, ammo. I'll take ammo every time now. I'll, I'll you guys can keep all, like the bags can keep the guns, they can keep the armor, they can keep everything. I'll just take ammo every time. Another red bag. You're down. Damn it. Another red bag. I fell. Now, I normally don't repair, but I am going to for this horde. Just because I didn't want to have to do it in the morning. It's not like they're going to actually break in here. Not at this stage, anyway. See ya. Gotta get that dog. Skeet shooting. Nice. Come on, Giggles, get up here. I will suffer. Apparently not as much as you are, though. Skeet shooting. They're inside. All 
All right, so I think before next tour, we got to find a way to get them out here. That bird is becoming really annoying. I'm really upset at myself for not turning that turret on. I should just leave the whole damn thing turned on. It's not like it's burning gas when the turret is not firing. At least I don't think it's not. I'll take that. I got a shot on me. Ah, missed him. I gotta be careful too, I'm getting caught in here. Pull! Did he get, uh... Damn it. I don't think he's gonna blow up though. Not yet. Oops. There you go. <laughs> I think he blew up midair. That's awesome. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, that was a twofer. We got the bird and the cop. Worth it. Oh, bag. Oh, these guys are just giving us stuff tonight. It's like the gift that keeps on giving here. All right, we'll scrap you. Got another another thing here. A little bit of arrows. Pull. I gotta stop using the shotgun ammo though. We're burning through it. I said I wasn't gonna use it, but it's just too much fun. Damn it, I can't even... I guess this is the true test of skill though, being able to like, quickly target with the rifle. Damn it! I should hack this bird up. Nope. Ooh, nice. Just gotta like, take my time a bit I think. Pull! Nope. Okay, he's at the door. Get rid of that bird. Now, big boy's down below. Well, oh, they're taking the block out down there. Ah, damn it. That guy's got a bit of... Got a bit of juice. I have no idea where to shoot for his head, though. Ooh, got him. Oh, he's got a bit of toughness to him, too. Ooh. Butt shot. I know I shouldn't have made these, like, full wide plates if I wanted to see guys down here to be able to shoot at them. But, um, this serves a double purpose. One, it's easier for the zombies to get to me, so the pathing isn't as confusing. Because the last thing I want is for them to have that confused path. I want them just to be constantly locked in this. I can get up and get on the ramp and get this guy. That, and the second thing is, is that when cops are down here, they can't see me to spit at me. So it helps in that regard. That guy's dead. Helps in that regard. Ah, damn it. Those big pussy guys are like harder to like hit. Or harder to knock over with the turrets. Got ya. Ooh, is that a cop? Yep. That was a cop. Shotgun's got it covered though. Stay there. Yes. Oh, damn it. I thought we took his head off. He's got more head than I thought he's got. That was a kill, though. Damn it. Yeah. Sometimes I try to play like it's my old Quake days. Quake 2. Back in the days of the wheel mouse where you could, like, spin the damn thing. All you have to do is pick it up slightly. Like, when you go to, re to turn around, you pick it up slightly and spin. And the ball still spins while you're moving the mouse back to a new position. So you could basically turn around like 180 degrees in like a fraction of a second. And I used to do that a lot. I used to run and then jump and then do a quick spin and shoot the guy directly behind me. When the people were chasing me. And on, on, on Instagib, when you would like 
it was like one one shot, like one shot, one kill. All you had to do was land your shot and it killed your opponent. That was like super deadly, right? The faster you could turn. Gotta get the shotgun out. He's done. Yeah, the faster you could turn meant the faster you could kill your opponent. Let's get some skill on this guy today. I don't know. We got the zombie hordes at 12, so they're just not showing up out front. I think they're just trapped in the building. And I figured that was going to be the case. It just... So thank you to whoever it was that mentioned uh, for skill advancement when you're firing a weapon. It only counts the bullets that hit the targets. So spraying and praying, thinking that you're advancing your skill and not actually hitting much, you're better off with like a controlled burst. Landing all your shots like this. Then you are just spraying and praying. So you'll get more skill advancement that way. Thank you for that. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I'm glad I specced into shotgun early. Let's go get these guys. Yeah, they're just caught inside, I guess. Oh, uh, you're caught again under here, aren't you? Sounds like there's two of them caught. So that's what I was hearing all night. Short of like being able to get in there to hit them. Oops. Light first, toss. Cause I don't think I can shoot through the steps. Like, it doesn't give me the ability to shoot through the steps, which is kind of shitty. Can I get him from up there, though? Yep. He dropped the bag, too. Did this guy die? He died. No, he didn't. Did you go under there, or were you already under there? Did you... I don't know. Oh, of course it's a blue bag too. Now nah, I'm not going to be able to get it. Oh man. How do I get in there to get the damn... I wonder if I can sneak in this. This is a bad idea. Because the watering horde came in the morning last time. Okay, we could scrap you. Take the rest. I don't want to get caught in here if a watering horde shows up. Oop, nope. Come on. Okay. Can I put a frame down? Nice. Alright, we'll leave the frame there. I don't think it's going to make that much difference, but we'll leave it there. Yeah, so we can eventually knock all this shut. We're going to put doorways here and over there. Just so that the zombies can get through the building and get to us. I mean, they're already make. I, I wanted the zombies to make the doorways for us. Because the good thing about leaving the zombies to do it is it tells you where their pathing is saying that they should be going. Right? Once you discover where you, their pathing says they should be going, then you can worry about, you know, opening up the buildings at that point. Okay, get rid of those guys. Oh, we got another AK. That's nice. We'll merge it with the one we have and make a better one. Another spear. Some pipe stuff. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Um, I'm going to hack up all the stuff down here. Uh, what we'll probably do, we got a whole day, so let's not waste it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. And then the rest of the day, we're going to head out and do the quest that we need to do for the trader and for Razor. 
and get those done. So let me get this stuff put away, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. All right, till next time, we'll see you later.